Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today we are taking a look at the brand new 2020 Integra Coach Odyssey. This is model 31F, which is their bunkhouse Class C entry level motorhome for Integra Coach. We are going to take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then I'm going to give you three things I love about this motorhome and three things I dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. again my name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel that gives you the true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. So if you find reviews like this useful consider subscribing. And again today we are taking a look at the 2020 Integra Coach Odyssey. This is a great Class C motorhome and there's a lot of features that I want to tell you about. So let's get started first with what powers this thing. This is powered on an E450 chassis. Uh, the V10 engine, 320 horsepower with 460 pounds of torque, tons of power behind this thing. While I love Integra Coach, the biggest reason why is because of this beautiful seamless fiberglass front cap. As you can see up top, it does have the automotive grade windshield, which is very nice. It allows for a not, lot of natural sunlight. Also, the reason why they call this a seamless fiberglass front cap is because right here notice on the edge there's no seams right here it's molded so the stress points are right there see when this is upgraded and more expensive to do when they put the seams right there that's a vulnerable spot and it's more likely to leak model is 31 f but the actual tip to tip length is 32 feet 6 inches also what's great about integra coach is a couple things it does have the two-year limited warranty, tip to tip, and the three-year structure warranty. Nobody else in the industry is doing this except Jayco. And if you look at this and it looks awfully similar to a Jayco, you're, you're right. And sorry if the camera's shaky or if I'm slapping or touching my face. There's these little bugs all around and, and they're, they're very- called gnats. Yeah, there's little gnats. But how about them gnats? Not the nationals. How about them nationals, That's huh? Right. What is the World Series, hey. Cool. Because it is an Integra coach, they use they have what's called the Easy Drive, which is a few things. It's a computer balanced drive shaft system, Hellwidge helper springs, and front and rear stabilizers to make it the best riding, best handling Class C on the market today for this price point. Now, when you step up to the Esteem, uh, you get a little bit more features. You get the Easy Drive Elite system, which if you want to see some Esteem videos. I will have them down in the description below. Also, you have a nice power awning with LED lights. Back up some. Oh, hang on, come in first. I would like to say, just so everybody knows, Andrea, say hi, Andrea. Hi. She's my wife. She's now recording me now that we're down in Florida. I didn't even mention, we're down in Ocala, Florida at my new dealership, General RV. And uh, now back up, Andrea. So there might be some learning curves with Andrea, but we'll get it done. Great. There's the awning. I love this awning, how there's no slide outs on this side. You have a TV on the outside right here. And then another great thing about Integra Coach is they have little to no options. The only options you can really get on this is two things. On the Odysseys, you can get partial body paint. It's when that corner over there is painted and this front cap's painted. Also, and we didn't option it that way, but also auto leveling. This coach has auto leveling, and that's really the only options you can get. Pretty simple. It makes it easy to help me get you the best price when there's not that many options. Right here's the propane tank. It is a 42 pound propane tank. Also, the fuel capacity on the chassis is 55 gallons. Also, I'll have all the rest of the specs and features all down in the description below. Over here, some more storage. Something that I really like that Integra Coach does, you see this cable here? Their storage doors go down, so it's a lot better than swinging up like this. Because see, when it swings up like this, you have to clip it. 
and when it swings down, it's a better feature, in my opinion. More there, and you have that nice rotocast type of metal. Right here's your 10 gallon DSI water heater. Coming on down here, more storage there. Propane quick connect right there for an outside grill. And then you have even more storage over here. And look at that, that's a great amount of storage. Also, you can get to that storage from inside when you raise up your bed. Coming around the back, what I'm a huge fan of is it does have a rear bumper, which I'm actually a big fan of. It's a place for you to put your sewer hose and it's just added safety if somebody does give you a soft fender bender. Up there, you do have a backup camera. No left and right camera, though, because of the price point. Again, that's something that you get when you move up to the Esteem. But you do have a rear camera. Frameless windows throughout the whole RV. Also, you have a one-piece fiberglass roof. Let's go up there and take a look. Please be careful. Up here on the roof, as you can see, it is a one-piece fiberglass roof. 30-amp motor home with one AC unit. We upgraded it to be a 15K air conditioning system. There's your King Jack, your King Air um, reception right there. This is a nice view of your over the head windshield. There's your awning. And then right over here, you can see that is already prepped for solar. Also, it has a slide topper over that slide out that you'll see very shortly. Great. If you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. What other RV salesman's gonna take his fat ass and climb up on the roof to show you what features the roof has to offer. Finishing up with the driver's side, you have a little bit more storage there. Oh, snap, look at this. This is actually your sanitation station. You have an outdoor shower, city fill, city water, water pump, everything good right there. Right here's where you dump your gray and black tanks. Right here is where you fill up your fuel. Again, 55 gallons of her. You have more storage. I didn't even mention there's lights in all these storage facilities. So if you had to get to it with the um, in the dark, there's lights. Right here is going to be a 50 amp power cord reel. Nice, fancy. A little bit more storage. And then finishing up with the outside. Ready for this? This one's for Jeepers. Cummins has a 4000 Cummins Onan QG generator. Jeepers and a whole bunch of other YouTubers kept telling me that I kept saying the G and there is no G. I didn't know. But now we do know. Now the outside of this RV looks great, but it looks even better on the inside. Let's go take a look. So stand right there, please. So inside the RV, this is what it looks like when the slide outs are closed. You have access to your bunk beds right there, but you can't make it to that to the master bedroom but when you go through the bathroom you are able to make it through to the master bedroom let's get the slot out out and while we're doing this if i could i have a favor to ask if you could leave down in the comments below let me know three things you like about this motorhome and let me know three things you don't like about this motorhome the more people who comment down below and leave thumbs up the more youtube likes to promote my videos and i would like to say andrea we're up to twelve thousand subscribers Yay! thanks so much thank all. you appreciate it cool let's get started with this cockpit area so e450 chassis pretty basic there's not too much variations here the seats don't swivel and eh, that kind of stinks but the reason why they do that it's because if you look here, look at the floor from here all the way down, there's no step up in the floor. So because of that, 
these seats aren't flush with the front of the floor so they can't swivel but you have your backup camera that shows here bluetooth and everything in the bunk over the cab you have this fills in this bunk over the cab can hold a record 750 pounds very impressive you have your light switch right here you have a TV right here then that windshield goes up and down it's electric it's electric and I always forget where the switch is where's that switch um, it's probably up there no it's not oh I always forget where it is. You know, I think it might be down. Oh, I found it. The... I found it. It's right here. There's a switch right here. And it goes all the way up and down. Very nice and fancy. The one thing that you cannot buy in a motorhome is natural light. Over here in the kitchen area, you have not one, but two drawers. This drops down to make a bed. I love how the cup holders here. You have nice big windows, frameless windows throughout the whole RV. And what Integra Coach does that's different than the competition, they have a seat belt in every seating position that you can sit, even right here in the rear. And it's um anchored down with 5,000 pounds of pressure or whatever. I don't know, Cody's here today talking about it. You know, some nice fancy stuff. Over here, you got some cabinetry. Notice how they have the pistons or hinges here whatever they like to call that very nice and you see how it shuts like that sorry about the noise but it's not shutting like this like you know how like it'll go like when it shuts this when it shuts it shuts so when you have stuff in there and you make a turn too hard it's not gonna come down and fly out the, you know and hit everything over here you have a nice sofa this is a sleeper sofa, I think. Maybe I lied. I think it's a futon. Or maybe it's nothing. It's a. It's probably at the jackknife. Oh no! This is the stupid kind. To be honest with you. The stupid kind. <laughs> yeah, it's it's the type that flips out. That's for the non-paying customers. That's why you got the bunk over the cab. I would just leave that alone. Over here, your refrigerator. You have a two-way fridge, runs off both propane and electric. Stand over there. All right. See, look, Andre, you're getting it. You're getting it. Nice big oversized fridge with pantry space right here and here. Now, see, they never leave the MSRP. Now, they never leave the MSRP sheets in here. So, I looked it up on the phone. This, the MSRP for the 2020 Integra Coach Odyssey 31F F is $117,069. And the sale price is $78,999. Now that's what's called map pricing, and that's the lowest that we're allowed to advertise it for on our website. But if you call me or text me or send me an email, I will be able to get you an even lower price than that. 3019060962 www.mattsrvreviews.com mattsrvreviews at gmail.com let's continue the video cool more cabinetry up here microwave right here it is a convection oven but a small one but I love this check out this oven here this look look you got the blue lights and everything Furion cooktop burner very fancy and bougie I feel like I just want to cook spaghetti right now and you got that oven right there. Look at this towel backsplash. Over here in the bunk area, you got pretty nice sized bunk beds. Look. Yep, I'm five foot four. So, you know, I got a couple inches left. And there's TV in there. Yep. You got TV there and TV there. You got drawers down here and drawers down here. And then what is nice is each bunk does have its own window, and then you do have curtains there. Go on that side. Oh, yeah. There we go. Coming into the bathroom area, you have two doors, one access from the master bedroom, one from the living area. 
you have a nice corner stand up shower. Oh, look at that. Fancy. Fancy shower. I like it. And then you can open it and close it. And it's done with magnets. And then look at this toilet. Premium toilet position. There you go. Porcelain toilet. Ample leg space. You know what I'm saying? In case you got a lot of kickback, read newspaper. You are good to go. Sink right here. This is a great size bathroom. And the medicine cabinet has storage there. Finishing up with the master bedroom. Cabinetry. TV. Storage underneath. No cabinetry there. This bed does lift up. And look, you, you can get to that storage compartment from the outside. Very nice. You have cabinetry above, a decent sized bed, countertops next to it, and then you have these nice lights that turn blue when you hold it white. There you go. Yeah, it's nice because it has a window there too. Yes. It doesn't happen a lot. Very, very nice. Well, great. That's it. Now, before you leave, it's now time for me to give you three things I love about this motorhome and three things I dislike about it. What should I do first? Three things you love about it. Okay. Follow me. <laughs> first thing I absolutely love about this is the seamless fiberglass front cap the windshield up top and the bunk over the cab, and the one-piece fiberglass roof. These are very high-end features that Integra Coach incorporated with their new gas lineups that they came out with a year or two ago, and I'm a huge fan of that. Number two, I love, it's coming here. I love this kitchen area. Now, I love this Furion, I love the oven, I love the glass top, I like the design. Normally in a bunkhouse Class C, you don't get very good kitchen arrangement. And the way they did this, oh my god, we didn't even show the sink. Check out that sink. We didn't even show the sink, babe. So look, just very, very nice. It has a cutting board, that's good. Yep, also, oh my god, man. Oh, oh and the charging god. port. Power of power. Oops. That is so important, especially when you have traveling with kids. Yeah, I really love that. And then number three. See, I kind of cheated. Well, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna mention the bunk over the cab again. Both interior and exterior. I love how big and spacious this is. I love that windshield. I love how you can hold 750 pounds. You can fit some two kids up there, three. Or kids. adults. Adults yes, can actually. Absolutely. Sit. Now ho ho ho. Just like three things. I hate about this motorhome. No, I'm just kidding. Actually, you know what? I am going to... Sorry. I'm messing it all up today. You need to I'm off my game, y'all. I am going to add one more thing. Because that kind of bunk over the cab kind of ties in with the other one. I love this toilet placement. I mean, this is a relatively small motorhome. And you're about to see something that I don't like because it's a little bit small. Actually, I'm going to tell you a dislike right now. With this slide out out... Look at this. You see this? You see kind of how tight it is right here? Mm -hmm. But I'm, that's a dislike. That's my first dislike. I do not like how tight this is here. But I'm almost okay with it because how big the bathroom is. i rather turn sideways while, walk, while walking than not being able to wipe my own butt in the bathroom. Right? That's one thing I don't like about it. Two... I kind of don't like this bedroom area. It just kind of looks a little bland to me. The bed's not that nice, the countertops, you know, it's just kind of basic. I like the windows, I like how spacious it is, but it's just kind of bland to me. That's two. And what's the third thing I don't like about this motorhome? See, this is tough, because I kind of like a lot about this motorhome. Okay. Oh, I know, easy. I don't like how the seats swivel. You know, again, 
The reason why is because throughout the whole motorhome, you have a flush floor, but a lot of people like that the seats can swivel. So that's it. Follow me. Hi, Stan. You want to be in the video? Oh, you might break the Hi. video. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that's it. That's the review. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions about this RV or any other RVs, Again, give me a call. My cell number is 301-906-0962, or you can send me an email, mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. If you want to see other Class C motorhomes with bunk beds, check down in the description below. I'll have all the links to all the other videos. And again, please leave down in the comments below. Let me know three things you like about this motorhome and three things you don't like about it. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time.